Hello, this is Tom with the Tractor Rescue Ranch. I'm uh, just working on this John Deere 400 again. And you can see that I've got that injector pump all mounted and got my hoses all hooked up and everything. So now I'm ready to move on to this front end and what I've done here I, I've got this you can pull that injector pump off with this front end together and we've got new umbrella seals here those right there and what I did they make a special tool but what I did is I just made my own tool to slide those umbrella sills up and over their grooves that they sit in and then they make a, another tool to compress that seal so that it'll go in there but I, I think I'll be able to get it in there just fine since I'm go working from the front end instead of the back end I'll be able to get it worked in there the way it's supposed to be in there without that spending the money on the tools so i've got to get that in and then we'll go to timing so the first part of this timing you can see there's a dot there on the end of that shaft and let me see if i can Shine a light in here. So you can see the opposite end there. There's a dot there. So you need to have those that oriented. It can only get 180 degrees off, but you got to have those two dots lined up. So I've got a good idea of where it is there and I'll put this in at the same orientation and then just wiggle it back and forth until it goes in and then it will be lined up correctly there. So that's the first step in the timing. And then from there, I have already done it. I've got this timing. This is for the timing. This pin goes in on the flywheel and when you got that pin in there on the flywheel, you've got the number one cylinder on top dead center. And so that's, that's got to be done. That's the, actually the first thing to do is that. And then we'll get this into here together. And then we'll go to putting the front end together. So that slipped in, and I don't know if the camera's in a position to show you, but it's really easy at this point to see that it did go into place the way it was supposed to be. That umbrella sill didn't fold over or anything, and then the second umbrella sill going the other direction will slide in easily. And so it wasn't very hard to do it without the tool working from this end, but I think from working from the other end it would have been really hard to do okay so that slid in should be in the correct position so in the instructions in the book on the timing they make a tool that you're supposed to just line up across and Short of buying that tool, I had this tool here that's going to accomplish the same thing. So this, the center of this point is right along this edge of this ruler here. 
So you rest that on the main crank and line it up with the center of that gear and then there's a mark right here on the gear that's got to line up and then you so that's the injector pump so here is the cam shaft you can see I hope you guys can see it there's a mark right there and so you just line that mark up center it on there and line the mark up there so that's in the right position and then it's the same thing down here these balancer shafts have to be timed there's a mark right here and then a mark right there so that's got it all everything that I've got is positioned right with the main crank is on top dead center of number one and so all of these others are lined up so now what I got to do is put in the idler gears and make sure that these stay in the same position and so the idler gears are going to have to go in with a little bit of a twist as they go in these gears that are now I don't know the word for it, the gears that are, they're not straight gears, they're angled gears. So there's one other thing here to make sure. I've got that cover off on that injector pump and you can see the timing marks on those two different positions. I, that camera's not showing it up very good. But anyway, the timing marks are on, lined up on there for number one as well. So I've got everything timed together. And all I've got to do is get the idlers in. So it took me a couple tries to get that in there and lined up the way it's supposed to. But you can see that mark out there on the gear is lining up on the cam and then there's the mark on the injector pump is lined up and also Inside the injector pump the marks are lined up, so we're perfect on that timing
of these idler gears don't matter where they're at as long as everything else is where it's supposed to be. Well, that is one timed engine. I'll get these torqued and then I can go to putting everything else together. The torque on these cap screws are 85 pounds. So just for a backup test, I'm going to turn this motor all the way over and bring it back to compression stroke of number one cylinder and make sure all my gears are still lined up. Just wanted to double check my work here. So I've gone all the way around two revolutions that brings the number one back up to compression stroke on top dead center and we are good to go with all of the timing so the next piece is the cover of this in putting this new front cover on, I almost forgot to put this piece, that slinger, and all that does is keep the oil slinged back away from this seal here. And then we've got this piece, which I believe, if I'm not mistaken, is the oil pressure relief.
there's the front cover. Got that main oil sill lubed up really well before I put that on. I just got to get the bolt and the washer that go in there and torque that down. Okay, very successful day today. This is more look, looking more like a tractor motor all the time. Got a whole bunch done today. The oil pan's on it and all buttoned up and the whole front is done, the timing's done. So my next day, tomorrow working on this thing, I'm hoping to get the front axles, the whole front end radiator and all that stuff put on. That's all just left in one piece. We left it outside the shop there so be a matter of just bringing it in and bolting it up with these big bolts. Won't be too long and this thing will be purring away. So thanks for watching and please like and subscribe.